We've learned that the 40 year old mother, her name Zakaya Duncan, along with her 27 year old boyfriend, his name Jova Terrell, they both appeared before a judge over in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And so we're getting this information from our reporting partners at the ABC affiliate over in Baton Rouge. They have a reporter inside the courtroom. And here's some information that she has shared with me. She says that both the mother and boyfriend are being held without bond, and Harris County has 30 days to extradite both of them back here to the Houston area. So both along with five other kids were at the center of an Amber Alert that was issued back on Tuesday and eventually everybody was located over in Louisiana and both of these adults were arrested. And so this is how everything started. These are the women's 16 year old twins, a boy and a girl captured at 530 in the morning on Tuesday, going door to door begging for help. And you can see there in the video, one of them doesn't even have a shirt on and it was pretty cold out that morning. And so it's unclear how long the twins were looking for help, but eventually a woman did let them inside her house. And obviously she was horrified at their condition. She took some of these photos and she tells ABC 13 that these twins were hungry. They shared details of their abuse. And here's more of what she says they told her. Everything. They did not hold a single thing back. They were saying that the mom had them in handcuffs in the laundry room, that they were not allowed to eat that they, I mean, they hadn't, I think they said they hadn't eaten over a week. The last time they ate was the Monday prior, according to them. So both the mother and the boyfriend have been charged with injury to a child. And as for the twins, they are now in CPS care. The other five children that were missing, they since have been located. We don't have a lot more information about their conditions quite yet, uh, but we did look into the background of the mother and in Louisiana, she does have a documented case of child abuse stemming from a situation that happened back in 2012. As for incidents here in Texas involving these adults, CPS says that they have had no contact with the family. So, of course, this case continues to develop and we'll be checking in to try and figure out when exactly this mother and the boyfriend will be back here in Harris County. Charlie at City, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right.